Hello everybody, it's Muriata here once again, and welcome back to another figure unboxing. Woohoo, yeah, part And I didn't forget the intro this time. Woohoo. So yes, we have another figure. And it is in a fairly decent sized box. Uh, it's not an Amiami box because, well, Amiami lost business on this figure. <laughs> uh, it is another Tamamo. Yes. It's the Amateurist version of Tamamo. Uh, so I looked her up, and the size is listed. She's a non-scale, but it's listed as 7.02 inches, which is the same size as the Beach Queen. So I'm guessing she's going to be pretty small. Honestly, quality-wise, I'm not expecting a whole lot from this figure. Uh, and we'll get to that when we get to all the information of her, but yeah. Anyways, I've been waiting for a little while for this figure. Let's get her open. Uh, so I had to buy this one from Solaris Japan. I did have her ordered from AmiAmi originally, but she did get canceled there because they could only ship to Japan, China, Taiwan, and Hong Kong for this figure, which was annoying. But it is what it is. But there we go. So Solaris does do a very nice job packing their figures. Lots of bubble wrap. So even though the box got a little bit squished, figure should be just fine. Because as if that bubble wrap wasn't enough, we got even more. And it looks like it's anti-static bubble wrap. It's a little pinkish. So it is taped pretty tightly. And it is she is wrapped in well, uh, tissue paper as well. So a very well protected figure. Oh, we should be able to get everything open now. The box is getting smaller. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and get the tissue paper off. It's a pretty decent sized box. And looking at her through the box, looks like it might be a little bit bigger. Maybe just a tad bit bigger than the Beach Queen, but we shall see. But anyways, now that we can see her, this is Tamamo no Mai, aka Caster Extra. She, is, this is the Shinwa Reiso, Shinwa Reiso version of her, or the Mythic Dress, aka the Amateurist version of her. Spoiler: Tamamo is a god. <laughs> She's not just my goddess; she is a god. Uh, so she is from Fate Extra CCC, and I have no idea why this outfit is not more popular for Tamamo, because, I mean, it shows off a whole bunch of belly flesh and under boob. But, uh, so, as I said, this is a non-scale figure, but size-wise, it's probably going to be around a one-tenth. Uh, she is manufactured by Ken Elephant, who I've never heard of before. Uh, they did make a Nero figure. And that Nero figure, a lot of people said, was basically price figure quality. So, hopefully Tamamo is a little bit better. Uh, so, Tamamo was released on, I'm guessing, because nothing official was announced. He just shipped. I'm guessing uh, September 15th of 2019. I originally ordered her from AmiAmi, but as I said, couldn't have her from them. They can't. I noticed the email, or... I noticed the comment that they couldn't ship to the U.S. after I had her ordered. So I sent them an email. They said, yeah, we can't do that, so they canceled it. Sent an email to Solaris Japan asking if they could ship to the U.S., and they said yes. So they got my business. I ordered Tamamo on February 21st of 2019, and I paid 11,774 yen, or $109.83. And I overpay for shipping, but... We'll skip that. Uh, she shipped out on the 13th of, of September, and I received her on the 18th of September. Okay, so maybe it was uh, the 12th that she was released. I don't know. Like I said, no official dates that I know of. Um, and since this is like the first release of her or whatever, they did include a bonus head with clear hair. Uh, so there is the side of her box. There's the back of her box showing all the different promotional images of her. 
and there's the other side. So like I said, I'm not expecting a whole lot quality detail wise, but it's Tamamo and you know me, I have to have Tamamo. And she's decent enough that I liked her enough to buy her. I mean, even if it is Tamamo, if it's an absolutely horrible figure, I don't know if I would buy it. Who am I kidding? Yes, I would. But yes, let's get her open. Uh, inside of the box, it's blue. It's got like a moon sh circle, lighter blue. Nothing special. And there is Tamamo in her blister packaging. So we'll do a spin around of her like this. So I am noticing like her hair is definitely a darker pink than Tamamo normally has. But that's okay. I'll have to see how she looks with the, both heads, but I don't know which one I'll display her with. And then she does have her big giant mirror. So yay. I mean, just looking through the blister, sculpt-wise she looks good. Uh, Paint-wise, everything looks clean. But it's not like, you know, it, it does have that lower quality feel a little bit. Maybe just the lack of shading. But let's see how she looks outside of plastic. So let's go ahead and get this open. Nice easy opening, opening blister. We have her base, which is a black oval with a little fake gold printed like floral leaf pattern and everything. It's a pretty thick plastic and it does have a little bit of weight to it, but I mean, it's not super exciting. There's a couple of peg holes for her feet and for the mirror. So we'll put that down. Uh, speaking of her mirror, we'll pull that out next. And it's a pretty large mirror, actually. All the other mirrors of Tamamo that I have are relatively small. So I got upside down, or do I? So there are two pegs, one there and then one there. So I'm guessing one goes into the base, probably this one, and then one goes into her hand, I'm guessing. But pretty detailed, nice sculpt to it. It is a mirror, as you can see yourself in there. Trying to hide my face for no re apparent reason, but... And then the back, you got the concentric circles and everything. So, quality-wise, it actually feels decent. Like I said, there's pretty much no shading, but it still seems pretty decent. So we'll put that down. And we'll pull out her bonus head. <clears throat> so I think it might have a different expression and it does have clear hair. Uh, she does have her Tamamo ears, of course, and they have the floofs in them. And they are at the, they are actually pierced ears. So you've got a little chain going between them with tassels and everything. Pretty fragile. Uh, got her face, nice uh, golden eyes, kind of a sad embarrassed type look i don't i don't really know how to describe that uh, on the back you got a big giant white bow with the tails are pretty clear uh, clear plastic and she does have human ears but sculpt wise yeah the sculpt is pretty dang good but as i said no real like shading but i i'm not a shading freak so i'm okay with that but it is a sign of higher quality when it is included. But now we have the main figure. And she is uh, pretty solid plastic. She's got some got some weight to her. So she comes in a bag. There's some plastic uh, between her back and her uh, ribbon and everything. And then, ooh, wow. Wow, that's some strong plastic smell. <laughs> but then there's... Uh, also some plastic under her necklace between that and her boobs and that's about all the plastic so let's set her down for a second and put this off to the side so we don't lose it and let's uh let's have a good look at her put that off to the side too so as i said uh, she is quite hefty 
So there is her normal face. Less of a sad expression, more of a confident Tamamo. Uh, we do see lots of under boob, and we do see the cleavage is not welded together. Showing off a cute belly button. I mean, so much belly flesh. And you can see uh, straps for her uh, bottoms, whatever she's wearing. She is wearing like a metallic skirt. And then she's got the poofy, like Arabian style uh, pants. She does have armored feet. With the pegs on the feet the, uh, going around to the back. We do see she has white underwear on. And the pants don't really uh, connect to anything in the back. So it's a miracle that they're being held up at all. But we do see a nice little hint of a booty back there. Uh, she does have a fluffy tail. Quite a few tufts. And the tail does have some decent shading in there. So you got some darker browns, almost like black. And you got the little white under floof. It's not a, the most impressive of tails, but it is a pretty decent tail. Uh, and then she has the big giant bow, white bow, with a, a like green bow underneath it. And her head has the big giant white bow with uh, the clear tails again. And once again, pierced ears. So, so far pretty good. Uh, let's take her head off and compare heads, compare faces. Can we get them both in shot and in focus? So yeah, this one, the normal face is definitely more confident, more, more commonal. This one is more, like I said, kind of embarrassed or something. I'll have to figure out which one I want to use because they're both pretty good. Yeah, honestly, like I said, wasn't expecting much from this figure, so I'm pleasantly surprised. It's not perfect, but it's it's pretty decent. Uh, she is wearing a little shirt, like a dark olive color almost, and it goes down into her shoulder poof, well elbow poofs I should say, and then her forearms are clear are not covered. Um, kind of peeking down there. You can see her back a little bit. She does have a spine line. And like I said, quite, quite a weighty figure. And on the bottom of this hand, there is a little hole for the mirror to plug into. Hands, all the fingers are individually sculpted. They're not connected together at all. Uh, looking, sorry, you can't see... It does not look like her nails are painted or anything. And we do have her rib cage peeking out. So I am going to put her regular head on for now. And let's get her assembled. So I'm going to tilt the camera down. Should be fairly simple, assuming things line up. Yep. Feet line up good. Don't have to spread the legs or anything. And they fit in pretty pretty securely. Uh, let's get the mirror in. So that goes in like that. And then kind of fiddle her hand a bit. So it does kind of angle off to the side a bit. So that's good. Easier to hide my face in. Uh, let's bring her a little bit closer. And we'll do a spin around of Tamamo. Yeah, Tama 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 Tamamo. So, yeah, like I said, pleasantly surprised. Yeah, not not a not the most impressive Tamamo in my collection, but definitely a very good one. So I am happy this was a good purchase. She looks pretty dang good. And size-wise, she doesn't feel too small. She is smaller. Like if I had pulled out casual Tamamo, she would definitely be a lot taller. But. Now let's uh, bring up the Beach Queen. So they are similar in size. So, but she is a bit taller. It looks like just a little bit bigger. So maybe a uh, one ninth, one nine point five or something. But they match together pretty well. 
spin around to the back and you can compare the floofs. Obviously Beach Queen is much floofier, but I think Amateris Tamamo is maybe a little more detailed, a little more, little more tufts of hair, but not bad, not bad at all. So we'll put her off to the side again and we'll I'm just looking at her again from like the side. One of the big things in the prototype that a lot of people complained about was her neck. It looked like she basically had a giraffe neck. And let's bring her a little closer. It looks like they've taken care of that. It doesn't look like it's super long anymore, so that's good. So let's put her special bonus face in. I think this came with the uh, first press like a first press bonus so yeah if she gets re-released you won't get the extra hair I think just initial impressions I'll probably go with the regular regular face but it's good to have the option but yeah I think she looks pretty good and it's Tamamo what more can you ask for it's Tamamo <laughs> gotta love her so I think that'll pretty much uh, conclude this. Uh, yeah, let's just do a couple close-ups. Gotta love the gap of the under boobs. The armor bits around her waist is probably the most meh. I mean, it's detailed. It's got good sculpting and good, good paint, really. Like you can see inside the carvings, it's definitely darker and everything. And the, the ropes look pretty decent as well. They're a little chunky, but not horrible. Not too bad. Got the booty. So, yeah. Not bad. Uh, from what I've seen, definitely an improvement over Ken Elephant's Nero. But then again, no one's really posting any pictures of their that Nero. So, yeah. Anyways. We'll put her normal head back on because we can, and we'll close this video off. So this is Tamamo no Mai, Caster Extra. She is in the Shinwa Reiso version, or the Mythical Dress, which is based off of her Amaterasu form, the Sun Goddess. She is from Fate Extra CCC. She is technically a non-scale, but is pretty close to a one-tenth, maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, she was released, like, Sometime mid mid September, I'm gonna guess like September 12th, based on when she shipped out and everything. But uh, I bought her from Solaris Japan because they could actually ship to the U.S. on like Ami Ami. Uh, I paid eleven thousand seven hundred and seventy four yen, or a hundred and nine dollars and eighty three cents for her. I wasn't expecting much, so I actually am pleasantly surprised. If you like Tamamo, I'd say go for her. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. I'm out. Bye-bye.